Saturday Social is powered by EA Sports FIFA 23 with PlayStation. This is Ask Moyes. We gave you guys at home the opportunity to ask this man absolutely anything on the Sky Sports social media accounts. You ready? I'm ready. I don't know if I'm looking forward to it. I've got to say. <laughs> OK, our first one. Could you tell Mikel Arteta would be a successful manager from an early age? Uh, maybe. Okay. Maybe. He was... Uh, he was a bit sultry as a player, you know, but he was a good player, good football player, and, uh, you know, he made a huge difference to us. Obviously, he's had uh, a brilliant opportunity to work with Pep and have those experiences and work under Arsene Wenger as well. So, uh, from that point of view, he put himself in a really good position. Our next question, is Wayne Rooney the best player you've ever managed? Uh, I'd, I'd probably have to say yes. I've had, I've had really, really good players. And it'd be unfair, I had, had some brilliant players at Manchester United. For sure. But I think when you when you get a boy so young and he goes on to be such a superstar and then we had him again at Man United. So I would I would have to say yes, but look, it wasn't because of what the manager done, I've got to tell you, it's what he done <laughs> because he had all the ability, you know. It wouldn't have mattered what manager he played under, he was always going to be, be a great player. I mean, obviously it's 20 years since his goal against Arsenal. Do you think that's the best goal you've ever seen personally? I wouldn't say it was the best goal I've ever seen, but I think for a 16-year-old boy to do that at the level and at the time, and uh, I always say, look, I was I was really unlucky as a manager that I had someone like Wayne Rooney in the building because sometimes as managers, you know, you need to have good players in the building which can help you in your career, which hope to give you that longevity, which keeps you in the job, which shows that you're making some progress. And uh, I was really fortunate at that time to have Wayne Rooney. For you, did you kind of remember his first time you heard about him, this, this kid come from mm. the academy? Do you remember maybe your first conversation yeah. with him? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I think when I spoke to him, I said, you're going to be with the first team, Wayne. And he went, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> So it was, it was that back from Wayne at the time. But overall, uh, you know, we, if, you, if, you, if people who remember look back, we put him on the bench when he was still at school, got him yeah. out of school at Southampton. And uh, like he was ready to compete with the men, he was he was strong for a young boy. But obviously he had to develop and he did, as we've said many times, he developed into one of the best there has been. Our next question, uh, what's been your best moment as a manager? Look, I, I've got to say, I, I I still believe I've got the best moment to come yet in my career. I really do. I think there's I think there's better to come. I think hopefully there's some cup wins along the way. I think, I think on the journey, I would say, I qualified for Europe with Everton when we finished fourth in the Premier League with probably not anywhere like the budget of all the other clubs. Yeah. And, but it took a lot, it, that was a long journey, you know, I don't know, five, six years to get to that point. So I always remember that. Who in the current West Ham squad is most likely to become a manager in the future? If I get it wrong, you'll go back to this years ago <laughs> and, and say, but you thought he was never get a chance. Strange enough, Vladimir Kufal, I think, might be okay. one. Okay. Yeah. Why I is think. that? Why is, is it stuff that you just see on the train? Yeah, page, I do. Think? I see someone who who loves the game, works at it, you know, desperate to be better himself. Uh, probably would like to stay in football. So I could see Vladimir Kufal doing it. Maybe even Thomas Suchek. Uh, who else would I see? Declan Rice, maybe. Maybe Mickey Antonio as well. Really, I'm saying like yeah, very different Mickey, styles. I think, I think between yeah, them. I do. I think Mickey might have other other things. Maybe <laughs> like, I think Mickey could have uh, could be in. He might be taking your seat, maybe something maybe, like that, possibly. Maybe. But, uh, really shock me. but overall, you know, I think Mickey's Mickey's someone who's well versed from the lower leagues through mm. the leagues to the Premier League, now with Jamaica. So you never know. How many hours do you typically work each day? Now, I feel like this might have a bit of an easy answer. Twenty four seven, surely as a football manager. Uh, it's probably ridiculously bad, <laughs> bad numbers of hours. Uh, Everton, I used to have a bed, which I would wheel out if I was really? getting back late from games. I used to wheel out a bed into my office and, and set it up. And, uh, you know, I, did, I don't think you should think that's unusual. I think a lot of managers will probably have to do the same. Now, I've got a question that I'm personally really, really interested in. One, do you golf? And if so, what is your golf handicap? It's my biggest hobby when I get to play. Okay. I love golf. And if you get a chance on this show to ask the committee at the Royal Witham, uh, 
could I any chance of getting my membership soon? That would be very <laughs> good if you don't mind. I've been waiting three years to get in. Okay, how did it hit? Uh, how yeah. it hit? Uh, I, I'm probably about a 12 handicap. And oh, it's not bad. If I wasn't in work and I was playing a bit more often, I would hope I could get it down a little bit. I know Declan uh, is someone who plays golf quite often. I think yeah. he's really impressive. Obviously, as well, you've got Billy Horshaw, who is a West Ham fan. Have you any, had any conversations with no, him? No, Billy's been in, yeah. And he, and he, he texts me the, <laughs> the results. Give yeah. I want to know what days Dex golfing because I don't see any, <laughs> any, any days at the moment, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. uh, have you ever got hole in one as well? I've had three. No way. I have, I've had three. Three hole in one? Yes, I What's have. What's the best one? I mean, yeah, what? and see, everybody on that camera wow. is now <laughs> killing themselves laughing and saying, he Three! Is... Three hole in ones. That's Nobody's going to believe impressive. that, are they? That's so impressive, yeah. David. Very, very interesting question here. Does David Moyes watch Netflix? No, I don't. No. No. I watch the football. Okay. I mean, you mentioned earlier you're, you're very, very busy. So you just, is it basically what, football 24 7? I watch football, like I'm sure most people do. I watch football. By the way, I've got to say, times you, you don't want to watch football. You know, there'll be nights you don't want to come in and watch match of the day. There'll be days you don't want to watch football on a Sunday because sure. things haven't gone your way or you just don't feel like it. So, but I think that you're so ingrained in the job. Uh, you're also, as I said, you're, you've got to keep, keep sort of present and, no, really keeping an eye on everything that's going on. I mean, you mentioned golf is one of your other, other hobbies that you like to do. Is there anything else that you, you like to try and do? Reading might it be? Uh, no, <laughs> no, just the football, the golf, when I get the chance. And uh, It's not a bad team know, to have to, no, it's, it's not, not a bad, bad No, good, good, I like it. Good to hear. Okay, now if you were stuck on a desert island with one other Premier League manager, who would you pick? Oh, can't think of many, I've got to say. Can't you know Mikel? You know, I might, I might pick Mikel Arteta. Okay. Because, what do you think his strength would be compared no, to No, because he would have to go and get me things being one of my ex players. <laughs> you know, I would be able to yes. say, you know, and get me fresh water or, <laughs> you know, get me a pineapple or whatever it was on. on. So being probably one of our boys, I think he could probably do that. I and, like it. And I think he would be, I think he could be my gopher if I was on that. Yes. Yeah. If you could take one thing then with you to the island, what would it be? Uh, the golf club. Yeah. You know, do you think the wife would be disappointed if I didn't say hi? You know what I mean? I don't know why. We'll go with the wife. We'll go with the yeah, wife. Okay. Right. We'll go with okay. the wife for sure. Okay. Um, and our last question now: Who is your favourite actor, and what is your favourite film of all time? Ah, uh, this is this is probably something with, with my wife. I, I, I like movies, but I'm not great with the names, and I'm not great with. But uh, the movie probably every time it came on, I'd wa watch would be Shawshank Redemption. What a film? Great film. What a film. You nearly can watch it all the time, you know. And, and uh, I've always, always enjoyed watching it. Uh, Sean Connery, probably Scottish. I mean, those are two very, very tight answers. So, you more of, a, so, more of an action fan than you find. Yeah, I quite like the James Bond movies. I've got to say, but uh, I'm not. A, a, I watch movies. I like going to movies when I can, but I'm not. A, I'm certainly not an expert on it. That's well, for sure. David, thank you so much, mate. I really thank appreciate you. that. Cheers. Good thank luck you. with the rest of the season. Bye. Bye.